I'm Di Doherty. And I'm Darren Campbell. Today from Sky Sports, we bring you a very special report. We go now to the team in Studio One at Sky Academy Skills Studios. Good afternoon, and I'm Ellis Byers. And I'm Ellie Craddock. And today on the news, we are talking about obesity and the failing and the number of athletes that are not participating in sport. Later on in the show, we have a special guest, so stay tuned and you'll see, find out. Issues of poor diet and low levels of physical activity can lead to the following. High blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, stroke, respiratory problems and some form of cancer. Over 90% of young people aged 5 to 16 participate in two hours of PE and sport each week. Do you think we're doing enough in schools to make this the real deal? If so, post your opinion on Facebook, Twitter, on any social media, a hashtag obesity on the rise. Over to Callum and James, who are going to go through more of the facts. Thank you, Ellie and Anna. Good evening, ladies and gents. My name is James. And I'm Callum, and we will be your reporters this evening. In 2012, Sport England, a grant-giving agency, invested £4.1 across 34 sports to provide 500,000 places for children to participate in sport clubs. A 2012 Sport England survey showed that there has been a record increase in the number of people participating in a sport since the Olympics. A recent survey found that young people who take part in sport outside of school are more likely to have a stronger friendship group, be more confident and happier with the way they look, compared with those who do not take part in sport outside of school. Sport England is, a, is funded by the National Lottery. This helps to improve the country's participation level in young people's sport. Now we hand over to Michael Phillips in uh, Olympic Park. Thank you, James and Callum. Hello, I'm Michael Phillips, reporting live from the Olympic Park, which promised so much in 2012. Recent figures show that 16 to 25 year old people's participation in sport has dropped by 20,000 since the last Olympic Games. Here today, I'm joined with Tabitha and Ethan. Tabitha, what has been your experience in sports so far? I've been in sports since I was eight years old and I'm working towards the next Olympic Games. And Ethan, what has been your experience in sports so far? I've been to the gym a couple of times. Tabitha, oh, this is annoying. Why would you encourage young adults to participate in sports? because it keeps them healthy and it also means that they can work towards their next Olympic Games. And even, why do you not participate in sports? Because the council shut down the local gym and it's too much money. So there we have it, two different views on sport. Now. Thank you, Michael. My name is Jeff and I'm today joined by the chief executive of the FA, Andre, and three-time Olympic gold medalist, James. The Olympic Games generated 9,000 new homes and regenerated a poor area of London. They also created public green spaces such as parks for Londoners to enjoy. None of the three previous Olympic Games such as Beijing 2008, Athens 2004 and Sydney 2000 made a profit. The UK economic benefit from hosting the 2012 Olympic Games reached £13 billion in 2014. Why do you think many children have not partic participated in swimming? If the media shows more interest in swimming, then budgets could increase, which will improve, will improve more facilities to attract participation. This does move on to you, Andre. Is football overexposing the media? It is overexposed. However, it is the world's most popular sport, and we didn't have enough exposure to it people could lose interest in the sport. Mm. Football is also a free sport to play, unlike any other sport, like, spit, like swimming. All right, thank you, James and Andre, for joining me. You both made brilliant points, but it's really up to the public to decide what they think of swimming and football. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And thanks to the Sky Academy Skills Studio team. Goodbye. Bye.